So it's Tim yes, from sir. Ohio. Yeah. He has one the Camaro and he's about to take it back to Ohio. It's gonna be the cleanest F body. There you go. Oh, you, hey, you gotta do a burnout out here on the road. I mean, you, you don't have to, that's up to you, but we'll video it if you do. <laughs> Actually, less mileage than I figured it Yeah, oh yeah, it's, it's ready. <laughs> Crispy! <laughs> Did you say hands on? Yeah. Uh, oh, buddy. You gonna do one? Whoa. <laughs> All right, we'll meet we'll, you around front. We'll meet you around front. Just go right around and out the gate over there. Get away from you. Yeah, let her rip, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you blow it up. See you, bud. Hey, congrats. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Say a lie warranty! Alright, the Camaro is gone. Congratulations again to Tim. Thank you to everyone that bought merch, got merch and got registered, and we'll do something like that again soon. Y'all did some rearranging in here, I see. Some re reorienting. Musical race cars. Musical race cars. I kinda like it. I feel like it might make a little more space. Just a little bit. While we got three cars, might as well use the space accordingly. Yeah. And you know, make it figured out this is a three car shop. You it's add a fourth one, shop. then things get really tight. Yeah. So, it does. While we got three, we'll make it feel yep. like we got plenty of room. Hey, fourth one will be here before you know it. Yeah. We're waiting on that. Yeah. Be here soon. Right now, though, we got these that we're working on. This is Slaghorn. Took the Clements engine out. It's back over here all good there and then also we're working on foghorn with the dell engine we're getting ready to go to southern raceway the home track it's about 10 minutes that way and they are racing the southern all-star super late model series this friday and saturday night we'll be out there with joseph racing and you can watch that live on hunt the front tv southern all-stars friday saturday hunt the front tv where joseph will be racing the plan is to run foghorn with the dell engine out there at southern this weekend with the southern all-stars but being it's two nights of racing we're gonna have both cars ready that kind of the plan yeah yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get them both there's no sense in not right i'll just go ahead and get them both tuned up get them with us and if you need it you'll have this car sitting there we need a little bit of spray or something <laughs> to get this car ready we've got to put this engine in it and it is back from Clements, Jordy took it last week, right after y'all saw us pull it out of this car. Jordy took it up to Clements, and they put bearings in it, right? Uh, just rod bearings. Just rod bearings in it, and gave us the A-OK, -okay, it's good to go. So this is the engine where we broke the oil pump belt at Talladega. Pulled it right out, put it in the trailer, got it back, got it out, took it to Clements. Here are our bearings that came out of it. Did we have any noticeable issues, Jordy? Yeah, so he, uh, so see how nice, I mean, see how nice this one is? Mm -hmm. So that color right there, it's almost like a really dark gray. Right. That's what this bearing is supposed to look like brand new. Okay. So this, this is a sign of, you know, pretty decent wear. Right. This, however, is not okay so this actually what happened was when the oil pressure dropped mm -hmm. there's a layer of oil between this bearing and the crank right well that layer of oil is no longer there mm -hmm. so this was rubbing onto the crank yep so this would have been one of the ones that was starved yeah clearly we had an issue i mean i don't know how what that could lead to but considering the situation i think it was a good idea to take it and have new ones put in so he told me, he said, if we were going to start this car back, just put a for right. your reference or whatever. Mm -hmm. If we were to start this car back up again, what would happen is without the oil being there, mm -hmm. these would have pinched together 
and getting stuck to the crank and that's how uh, spun bearing is caused. Right. These these two ends would pinch together. I see. You know? Hey, well, you know what? Better safe than sorry either way. Glad those are out and new ones are in. Should be good to go. I, have, I guess my question is, have we figured out why, why our belt broke? No, not 100%, no. I think one, eye, one, one possible cause is it was too tight. One cause is tension. Other, other is alignment. Alignment. So that's what we're working we're with going today. We're double check both. Triple. Triple check Even. both. Some might say quadruple. Yeah. What's the number? What's, what's for five? Cinco drupal? Five, five drupal. Yeah, five drupal check. He's saying we might have a, a tension issue. Same, same pump, same pulleys, same uh, flywheel. You go ahead and order us a, enough to get by for a while. That's what. That's what the belt looks like. Y'all saw there was no way that shredded piece was the whole belt last time. There's, there's too much there. That's a lot of belt. There. That's a lot of belt. There is the oil pump belt. That's what what broke uh, that caused us our issue. Did you get far enough away from it? Yeah, you got to find the right combination of extensions <laughs> to get enough room to swing the ratchet. I don't know if I need more or less extension. Well. <laughs> I don't know. We might be out. Might not have more. Might not be an option. Might be all we got. Yep. There it goes. There it goes. Enough. Okay, so we adjust tension going up and down with it, right? Yeah. What about alignment? We adjust that on the flywheel or on mm. the pulley here? On the pulley. I mean, you do it either way. There's there's already a spacer on the flywheel. Okay. So we'll probably just slide this on the shaft there. You got about a quarter inch. You see that black washer? Enough room for adjustment. That black washer right there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the pulley itself. You got about a quarter inch, maybe. A little less. Hey, you're just in time to make sure we do it right. Hey, that's what I came here for. You want to see our, our verdict? Oh, Mr. Culprit. Oh. This one's this one's fine. That one's bad. Can't you shut tell? up? <laughs> no way. <laughs> so this one obviously got ran out of oil first. Was this or, the back one? I'm not. Remember sure. how we we're talking about like? Yeah, I see the issue here. I'm glad that we didn't run it. Mm-hmm. Ah, we probably could have got 700 yeah. laps out of that, yeah, but better safe than sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> three less than three seconds from the time it had zero oil pressure till Joseph had it switched off and out of gear. Too. Yeah. So probably a heat building. Yeah. I mean it didn't take Turns long. Turns out oil is vital to the survival. Well, it, also you when you run out of pressure, yeah, it's sitting in oil, but it takes the pressure to get the oil in there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's something, you know, I saw a lot of people saying how it was sitting in oil. Anyway, maybe someone might take, you know, if you ever run into this issue, you can take, you know, our experience and what you're looking at here into consideration. When you think about how you how to that handle it is uh in fact that is a brand new belt i missed them putting it on but there's the belt looped over there it is brand new you gotta put it on the flywheel get it on it. right so we're going back with the same same old same same space in here there's a spacer behind the flywheel between it right there a little 080 what do you want me to do? We just we, we need you to. I just want YouTube to see they put the littlest guy <laughs> on the most strenuous job of this process. Okay. That just shows how much faith we got in you, Jesse. Uh, what, what are y'all doing? We're working on it, son. You, you just hold that transmission up. Okay. The engine is in the hole. Motor mounts in. Radiator. Hooking up oil lines. And there's our belt, our culprit. Well, that's not the culprit, that's a new belt, but that's where the culprit was. There's the, the, the problem situation that we had. You need a light? Yes. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, got it handy. So where the heck do you even get lined up with this thing to see if it's straight or not? It's probably because it's loose, but the pump seems to be not in the same angle as the flywheel. But it's probably because it's loose. Um, 
So yeah, let's tighten it and see what it does. It needs to be t uh, tension way loose right there. So. All right. Mm, it's too tight. Too tight? Yeah. Right. We'll back it off. Yeah. You're supposed to be able to turn it, ain't you? Yeah. Like 90 degrees there. Alright, hold up. Tighten it down right there. That might be more on the loose side, truthfully. Is, is it... You got both of them snug? Yeah, they're snug. Okay, this gonna need to be a little bit tighter than that. All right. It's probably okay on the tension. You got them tight? Yeah, I got the bottom one real tight. Get back on the top. It looks like it's pinching the belt on the front side. The pulley too far out. As in like the pulley, the front of the pulley right here, mm -hmm. and the back of the motor are closer together than the back, than the back side of the pump. The top bolt of the pump needs a spacer between the pump and the bracket. That'll lean you top towards the back? Yeah. So, with the new motor mounts that we put in here and the mid plate, it changed the, the motor. No, the bell housing would move with it. It's all the same. It all should be. Yeah. I wonder where we got it. the, uh, why it would be misaligned now, because nothing should change. Uh, the back, it's running uphill like that, right? We need that to go down. Yeah. I see it. I definitely can see that. Ray Charles can see that. <laughs> so we are taking, we got two bolts that hold it fast. We're putting that in the top bolt, which should take and tilt the pump like that mm -hmm. right yeah hopefully just enough that fix it all right well whatever if it was an issue i don't think it is no more look, look at that yeah it looks better from from where you i'm see, standing that light helps right there. you can tell that it looks like what your your side of your ruler yeah. looks like it runs straight with the top one right I wouldn't get it no tighter than that. Mm -hmm. It'll work like that. Are we ready to crank it, Jordy? I think so. What exactly all did we do different? I know we put a spacer in to lean the pump this way. So we made it to where hopefully the engine and the pump are running straight. We also took and have a little less tension on the belt there than we had previously. Making sure it's not too tight. And now we got everything bolted on it, ready to crank it. Make sure it looks good. Okay, fire the hole. sounds real good but basically we took and aligned it better 
angled it better, I guess, really would be the thing. It wasn't really the, the alignment, it was more of the angle of the pump. We adjusted that, which the thing that's crazy about it is it shouldn't, if y'all watched last week, we new set of motor mounts and uh, mid plate, but that shouldn't have changed. You wouldn't yeah, think right. would change anything because the bell housing, right. it all moves together. It all moves together because it's all bolted to the, the mid plate, but evidently it did. Threw us off just a hair, and that was enough for the belt to, probably what it did, we figure it did, was get against the front of the pulley with the way it was angled, right? We think it probably hit the front of the pulley. Probably, yeah, it was front guard. Yep, got, got against that. And I don't know if you can see it, but see how shiny that front guard is? Uh -huh. Like right there on the edge? Right. I'm, I think that Warming the belt down. might have rolled up on top yeah. of that, and that's what shredded. shredded it. Yeah. Also, we probably had a little too much tension, so everything combined. Right. Then we got it, you know, we got our tension a little better. Right. Well, like I said, though, we're going to go over it all again. And it's something we'll definitely be keeping an eye on. But yeah, it all looks kosher right there, like it's supposed to. Listen, Joey, the white looks a lot better than the black. I think so? Yes. I know so. That was our problem at Talladega, why you're so Good slow. Problem. And now we got a black note. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's got one. Oh, yeah, yeah. So on this body, this is the first we put the new wrap over on to Foghorn there. At Talladega a couple weeks ago, y'all see we had the black rocker panels there. I was adamant that that did not look as good. You weren't adamant. I was pretty clear. But we were in a hurry to get things done and get to the track, so I didn't push. So I'm glad we went to white over here. Anyway, y'all well, y'all let us know what you think. You like the white bottoms better than than the black plastic we got over here. I think that the black looks stupid with the white nose. Yeah. But <laughs> man, over here it looks fine because right. you got white trim around the exactly. nose. Exactly. I just like the white, you know. Well, yeah. Yeah. The black looks good, but yeah, the white nose with the that black. Had a white dick with black tape job. <laughs> 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 so, referring to Joseph. Yeah. Whatever the case, we will be racing Southern Raceway this weekend, Southern All Stars. Joseph will be in this car. We'll have the other car in the front of the trailer. Uh, the next time we plan on running it, though, will be at All Tech, April 12th and 13th, with the Hunt the Front Super Dirt Series. But Southern All Stars this weekend, Southern Raceway with this one. Y'all can watch that one live on Hunt the Front TV as well as All Tech in just a couple of weeks. Thank y'all for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. We will see y'all later.